Hello, everybody. I want to talk to you a little bit today about working your golf ball. How you get your ball to draw? How do you get it to cut? How do you hit dead straight shots? Uh, this will help you a lot in your quest to get better if you know these things. If you see somebody setting up a professional when they're playing golf and they have a shot that they requires it to go right to left, they're going to approach the golf ball. They're going to address it from behind the line but they'll probably approach the golf ball from the left side of this line and they'll come into the ball visualizing a draw. As they do that, this part of the preparation, in order to hit a draw, you would want to set up with the club face dead square to the target line, slightly closed with the feet in relation to the target line, this is going to help promote the club head to travel from the inside to the out, which is going to be what starts the ball in the initial direction right of the target. The club face angle is going to be what produces the spin on the golf ball, which makes it come back to the target. So if they wanted to drive the golf ball, they would set up square with the club face, slightly closed with the feet, shoulders and hips, and they would try to swing down the feet line with the club head that would be the club swing path down the feet, shoulder, hip line, which is traveling on a line just right of the target. This is gonna cause the ball to start right of the target. The club face being aimed at the target is gonna make the spin curve the ball back to the target. Just the opposite if you wanna cut it. If you see a professional playing a cut shot or a shot that requires a cut, he's probably gonna stand behind it, visualize the cut, probably, step to this side of this line and approach the ball from the, left, the right side of his target line and visualize a cut shot. So that's gonna be just the opposite of the draw. You're gonna set the face up first, aiming the face dead at the target. The feet will be set slightly open in relation to the target line, not the actual starting line of the golf ball, but the target line and then the pros are going to try to swing right down the feet, hip, shoulder line and release the club right down the toe line. The face is open a little because it's aimed at the target line. That's going to create a cut spin causing the ball to cut back to the target. That's what happens in good swings. You have to understand also that there's three different releases that can be used in a golf swing. There is a release where the toe crosses over draw release. There's a dead straight release where the club face stays square to the target all the way through. And there's a little cut release where the elbow gets disconnected, the face stays open. Cut. Three different releases. Obviously if you use a cut release on a draw swing, you're going to have a problem. The ball's going to start right and it's going to be a big old slice, a push slice. It's just the opposite if you set up to play a cut shot and use a draw release. Your ball's going to start left of the target and it's going to draw. Pull hook. You want to hit a straight shot? Watch your professionals. Watch Jack Nicholas. Watch Tiger Woods. They both set up dead square with the club face right at the target. They try to square their feet, hips, and shoulders. And they try to take this down that target line as long as they can in both directions. That's called swing swing. Back, when you get here, you're parallel. On the down swing, they try to take the club and release it right at the target as long as they can. That's a dead straight shot. Tiger Woods said it best. He said he hits all of his shots with the back of his lead hand. He said the only time he hits a crooked shot is when the back of his lead hand is facing anything but the target. He's hitting it with the back of his lead hand his lead hand must be traveling toward the target. This is how you work your golf ball right to left, how you work your ball left to right. You want to hit it high, move the ball forward a little bit, use a little more wrist action. The more you pronate the wrist through the hitting area, the more spin you put on the ball and the higher it'll go. You want to hit it low, back it up in the stance a little, keep the forward press at impact, not a lot of wrist release. That'll drive the ball down in there low. You'll hit the little low shot through the wind. Checks up nicely. 
this is this is how you work the golf ball. This is how it works in my swing. If I want to draw it, I have to visualize a draw and I have to swing out on it and roll it, release it. Much like a bowler rolling a hook. You see a bowler going down through there and roll a hook, he goes, the hand releases over. I promise you, you want to learn how to hook it, go to a bowling alley, get you a 16 pound ball, take the thumb out, grip it like this. It causes a natural rotation of the right hand. This will be, when you, when you do this, you'll go back to the golf course and you'll hit that golf ball and it'll go, Phew. I know it did. But, try it. I promise you, this is the things that makes the golf ball happen. Draw, you have to swing out on it, roll the hands over, cut, you swing this way, holding the face open. You see a lot of turf players finish in this position. They've hit a, a slight cut. And you see them finish in this position, two different positions. Two different golf shots. This is a draw. This is a cut. Dead straight. I promise you, if you'll work on this, and this goes right along with what I consider is correct nine ball flight balls. Uh, I catch a lot of slack on my other video, but this is how it happens in my swing. I consider myself to be an excellent ball striker. I've got very good results with the way I'm teaching you to do it. But give me some feedback, email me or post some comments. I appreciate you and I'll get back with you in another lesson. Thanks a lot.